I'm here today to net these two cherry trees. Now, cherries, once they start to colour, are very attractive to birds here, and if we don't actually get them netted, they won't last till uh, ripe and we won't get to eat any. So, putting a net over them is a really simple way of keeping the birds off and ensuring that we get to enjoy the cherries that we've waited all year for. Now it's quite tempting to just throw the net over a tree. Uh, it's quick and easy without any extra support. But realistically it's not a good idea because what can happen is that during the time that the net is over the tree it can begin to shoot and it will put shoots out through the net. When you come to get the net off that can cause some major problems. It can mean that you damage the net or else you have to cut the tree in some way to get it off both of which are not necessarily desirable particularly damaging the net because they can be it's a large tree quite expensive to purchase so what I think is the better way to net a fruit tree is to put some type of structure over it a support for the net now you'll see I've used here some used galvanized pipe and into it, I'm going to actually insert one of my favorite tools for this type of thing, which is some electrical conduit. Now, this is just a 20 millimeter conduit. It's really cheap. It only costs about 80 cents a meter here in uh, Tasmania. So it makes a really cheap and quick structure. Now you could do the reverse. The size there will also fit a reinforcement rod up the middle. So if you were to put reinforcement right into the ground and slip it up the middle of this rather than this one fits inside the pipe. Whichever is available to you, whichever is easier and that will just slide down in there and I can control the size of it basically by how far I slip it in. If it wants to slip down too far you could control it by actually putting a screw into that. To get the other side in I'm going to have to use a ladder. So you see, I can adjust the height of this simply by slipping it in further and get it to the height that I want. So once they're in place, it's simply a matter of getting a net over. Now, it's a really good idea to mow before you actually put a net over, which is what I did here, because you don't want the grass growing into the base of the net. You need to be able to seal it fairly well to the ground and having it mowed this time of the year it's not going to grow very quickly again because it's getting drier and uh, it'll be good so of course you do need the right size net for the tree i think this is the right one i've had them away for a, a year and uh, i did forget to label them which would have been a good idea Now it may look here that this is too short and needs a bigger one for the tree. But there's a lot of stretch and flexibility in these and they tend to roll up when they've been you know, folded up. They tend to come together and when you bring them over a tree and stretch them down again, I simply use a weight on the bottom. This is a paver, you can use bricks, you can use a piece of wood, whatever works for you, whatever you have. And once you've held it down for a, a day or so in this, particularly in the sunshine like this, it will stretch out again and settle down to the ground quite well. So there's a lot of stretch. Don't be deterred if it looks a little bit short. Just give it a pull. Of course, how careful you have to be does depend on what type of birds you're dealing with. Some birds will crawl under there quite readily. The birds that trouble these don't seem to be that bigger issue uh, with the ground but if you've got that then use a piece of wood across which is going to cover it all. So that's these two trees netted and ready for or waiting for harvest. 
I think the other really important thing is is that as soon as harvest is complete get your nets off don't let them sit around for a few weeks afterwards because the longer the nets are on the greater the likelihood of damage occurring to the nets and as I said before that's what costs you money and you don't want to do it growing fruit trees and not doing this and allowing the birds animals etc to eat them well of course is absolutely pointless so it's worth this little investment in time and money to ensure that you actually get that crop that you intended to have